liability of the New Testament for the past two years. And not one Christian has come and told me. So because you haven't gotten an answer in two years, that means there's no answer? There is no answer. You can't answer it. Because Christian scholarship is saying it. Oh, how, what answer is that? Which Christian, Christian scholarship, scholarship is saying... Which, Christian which ideology? Scholarship is, okay, look. Christianity which teaches, ideology? Okay, so you're lay Christian. You go to your you go to your local priest. He'll tell you Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John were disciples of Jesus, witnessing what they wrote, inspired by the Holy Spirit. Christian scholarship will say they're all anonymous authors. Your Christian priests don't know nothing. The scholars we're quoting, they're the ones who are saying the authors of the Bible, the authors of the gospel, are anonymous. Yeah, they don't know. Do these these are these. Somebody you know. knows. Oh, but oh, you oh, have okay. to find them. But I'm not here to Somebody do that. Somebody knows. Here. Listen, Milan, Milan, right. If someone can map DNA in, our paradigm, in, in our a paradigm, chemistry lab, Milan, somebody Milan. has the answer to your question, but in you a, have a, to go find it. No, they don't. No, they don't. Because if there somebody was an answer, knows. if there was an answer, it would have trickled down by now. It would have come you out. You need to find these answers. Yeah. And you can go never stop. Answer. If you're genuine, you can right, never right. stop. You, you go find the never answer. never stop looking. You go find it. That's not my mission. Because there's no answer. You should never say you've come to the end. Why? A genuine person looks till the end. Why? You never stop looking. You Why? never stop reading. You I, I, never I stop learning. I can see it from my eye. I can see you it from never my eye. stop. Oh, okay. You keep going. You learn you from there. You travel. You ask. You find the right people. You never stop. Pointless. Knowledge. Absol I'll tell you why it's absolutely studying pointless. Studying is never pointless. I'll tell you, it is. I'll tell you why it's pointless, what you're saying. Okay. The so you're going to stand on a soapbox and think you know it all and you have all the answers. That's no, no, your, no, no, your no, you're doing that. You're doing that. I, I'm the one who's saying, go read. No, but you're no, no, saying, no, it's worthless. No, no, look, it's very, very it's simple. Who do I need to go and see about that? You need to go ask someone who asked How are they going to know the answer? About Paul, the how history, are they going to know the answer? How this was compiled. So there's people who study dead how languages. How are they going to know the answer? What answer there's are they going to give There's people who study, you? like, all right. What dinosaurs. There's me? so many people in this world who study and study and study. There's going to be an answer for you. It doesn't matter. There's no answer for it. You're just going to declare something has no answer. Yes. There's so many aspects that you have to go around and look oh, at okay. so that you can get your answers because that's what it all comes down to. How can God be merciful if he allows sacrifice? How does Paul play into this? These are questions you need to take to a, a really good scholar. You know, these are questions that are very valuable and that your sincerity can show by asking professionals and never stopping and looking for that answer. So have you oh. gone to ask a cardinal or anyone about why Paul is in there? Have you done any research to try to figure I, I, out why I, I, did they want to include him? Um, I, 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 they, they, I don't know why, who did what, yeah? If you went to a cardinal, they'll tell you the church fathers were inspired by the Holy Spirit and they knew what was doctrine and what wasn't. Sorry, what was scripture, what wasn't. They, well, you haven't I, asked. I don't need to. Why won't no, you this, ask somebody high no, up in, this, the, in those churches? We well, just listen. You, you'll hear the explanation. Okay. So for a year, for a year and a half, for the past since COVID, we've been doing a series every two weeks, yeah, called the historicity of the New Testament, and we've gone through everything with a fine tooth comb. We started with the crucifixion outside of the New Testament, so the claims of Flavius Josephus and Tacitus and such. Then we went to the claims of the crucifixion within the New Testament. Then we've gone through the, the the Gospel of Mark, Matthew, Luke, John. Then we've gone through all the letters of But Paul. you haven't spoken to anybody. We, Speak no, to no. somebody high up. No, Get listen, in the door. Listen. Get in the door and talk to them. Listen. You can say what you can prophesize anything you want. Listen. But why, you need to put your ideas in front of somebody who knows. Nilahan. And then we'll see what the Nilahan. truth is. 